Hey guys, welcome back in Grimong YT and in this video we are going to optimize our Unreal Engine 5 game for mobile. So recently I just updated the map as you can see, it's pretty enough looking good for a mobile game but the problem is when I publish this game in Google Play Store, it's giving super lag, like yeah user facing super lag because there's uh, tons of stuff like there's uh, if I show you the foliage as you can see there's a 256 wow that is super uh, so so much foliage and there's also super quality textures and also the problem is there's a tons of not tons of but there's a many of animals as you can see there's some reindeer and there's a maybe have some elephants yep we have some elephants and we have also some maybe zebra in this side uh, maybe on this side maybe mm, yeah there's a zebras so yeah there's a pretty much lots of stuff so the problem is now for facing this thing uh, the user basically facing super lag so now we need to optimize so now let's learn for now if i show you like if i show you at here that is state um, state unit so as you can see that correctly frame rate is super low that is only 23 fps that is super low like just think guys in my pc it's coming 24 fps so how in the mobile it's come good also we can check with uh as you can see it's already showing that by default uh, how much gpu it's using draw calls and everything so first of all we need to understand that what is why is the problem so we will go to optimization view mode let's first set it to light and complexity so yeah at here there's a um, you know that is in a blue so yeah however now let's uh transfix this into uh density so as you can see now why is the basically the green it's been that yeah it's good there's a no problem but why is it basically the blue there's a, some problem or issue so as you can see the in this black because that is uh, using nanite and the third uh, as you can see this is using blue so we need to optimize the scene okay basically our world also we need to optimize that so other seats totally good as you can see uh, the reindeers is also good uh and but uh, there's some foliage that is some bad so you need to optimize them okay that is uh, for light and density okay now let's go to uh, the complexity as as you can see that how much foliage problem here okay like super fully let's go to shader complexity and quartz so you can see that basically what is a super problem so there's a tons of foliage so for the foliage there's a basically the scene becomes super laggy and other stuff okay then let's go to only a quartz draw so we can see some difference okay so from here we, as you can see the nanite is not visible the problem is on the trees and the foliage as you can see it's super bad so we need to optimize our foliage and other stuff is pretty much enough good the animal is also pretty much good not so much bad okay so now we understand that what is the problem let's go to overview of nanite visualization so as you can see that in the full scenes only the nanite using by are the there okay so first of all what to do we need to for enabling nanite we all we all know that for we just can be you know first of all just go and search that why is the object and enable the nanites and its work okay i accept that but the problem is with that nanite there's a problem that the nanite when you build the lights the nanite using the virtual shadow mapping so you need to enable that so go to edit then go to project settings and here you need to search that vir virtual mm, virtual and here if you just scroll down here you find the mobile support so you need to enable the virtual texture supports and enable virtual texture support for mobile and make sure uh, enable virtual texture light map okay so that's all and it will automatically become shadow to virtual shadow map beta okay and auto virtual texture size uh, that's 4096 that is pretty much enough good but yeah it's okay now we need to give a restart our project okay so make sure once you give the restart the first problem is come that there's a now compile tons of shaders okay like yeah there's a now compile lots of lots lots of shader so you need to understand that 
so okay now it will be compiled the virtual shader so as you can see it start compiling now it's compiling in my case it's uh, i have a good pc like i have intel i9 to uh, 32 gb RAM, so it's now enough uh, good but for uh, light building i need a rtx also okay so i but i don't have the rtx i have now is a uh, in a uh, 60 maybe uh, or it's a uh, it's not rtx it's the uh, have only 6 gb ram extreme gaming so limited edition i have but the problem is that i don't have rtx but for light building and others you know that high performance uh for light build or ray chasing i need a rtx so i try to buy rtx but for now it's not possible because i have some money shortage so i need to first buy that then maybe i can do some better light build and maybe more fast so as you can see that it's now building this uh it's basically shader compiling so let me give the compiling shader then after the all the shader compile i'll be show you okay guys so you can see that now is fps is 41 some time ago it's only coming 20 to 30 fps now it's coming 40 so this is good because we are enable virtual texture because the virtual texture if you are using nanite for mobile you should be use the virtual texture and once we build the lights we will get more better result okay now uh what we need to do is basically uh we we need to as you can see that if you go to lights and complexity as distance we can see uh that there's some uh, assets using super high okay as you can see that's uh, super high so we need to fix them so just go to foliage first of all and let's see that which foliage it's using this one so then we need to find out that foliage so for our case this one using okay let's see the are it's using any lod's or something like that so you can see that it's not using any lod's or something like that so there's uh, some problem okay so what you'll be do first of all go to triangles and any okay so we'll be can 50 by 50 then apply change okay now we have some uh, less uh you know then let's go to customs and we need to uh make sure that we need to for now we need to set it to a small pops or a larger pop you can select so click on yes and now go to custom lod so at here will be remove the lod number three so just select the all of one so only remove the lod number uh, three and now select the lod number two and we'll be set there at only the five percent of lod's and then let's go to lod once at here will be give only 30 percent of led apply and then we'll be go to lod zero and at here will be said only that is uh not 40 more than 45 percent and then will be set customized to auto lods okay so that is now current current uh super good okay like it's have now less triangles as you can see uh, if you go long distance it will automatically increase the foliage now click on saved okay so now we get will be get uh, some more better results okay then uh we need to fix this uh assets uh the text uh, the material okay so as you can see for example it's using this material okay this is the basically the grass material so we need to there's a basically the grass uh, material so what you need to do first of all we need to uh, create our own custom material so just create a uh, create a material and set it to ai2 and double click and open okay we have now this one and let's remove this grass and everything we have only this ones and this also we need to make sure that we will be open our this uh, by default one so from here we can basically change the colors and other stuff but for now i'll be only use this one so okay so it's uh, looking good but we need to also use the opacity so because this is a transparent asset so click on uh, that and uh, that opacity so it should be work and uh, now let's try these materials first of all in our this grass section so that how it's working i'm pretty sure that it's not it not should be work great uh okay it's uh doing but it needs some color yeah we, it's it's totally needs some color so we'll be go our ai uh, this um then copy this code and come at here basically this is a parameter which so it's 
which is multiplying with by float so we can basically adjust the color so saved okay it has been changed so as you can see it's also changed the color so we are getting now more good fps so now let's do white selecting i'm not sure that white select all this stuff not should be select okay let's cl click on a play let's see how much fps we are getting now as you can see we are now getting 42 fps that was enough impressive so then what you can do as you can see there's a fall it's it's too much okay that uh, as you can see we are, can see in a long distance too so for fixing this uh, stuff we'll be go to foliage and then <clears throat> we'll be select all the trees and go to basically uh, the light map and resolution and we'll be set, first of all change the light map resolution to 1 in 28 and even you can give the light map resolution 8 uh, it's also good and then we'll be select all the trees and select equal distance that is basically how much distance we want maximum so maximum let's give it to uh 5000 let's see mm, it's good but we need some more so let's give it that 7000 okay that's good 7000 in which is great so we'll be get now a good look and yeah it's good not bad and then <clears throat> let's select the same method for the grass for the grass will be set the resolution only to four and then will be set the curl distance of the maximum this uh, grass is uh, 3000 so as you can see it's kind of like looking like an empty place like yeah, it's seriously like just thing that you are playing the game and at that time uh, you are basically as you can see it's our fps become high but uh, as you can see that it, it's some kind of like a loading and loading and loading okay it's not great because uh, we need to also customize our landscape too for fixing this issue like we need to blend the foliage with our landscape do the same thing for our foliage uh, the grass too same the four and set the maximum for this one so i'll be prefer uh, 1500 not more than so we don't need more than like this it's uh, quite enough good <clears throat> okay so we are we already fixed our foliage super so as a result as you can see that we are getting now 53 fps even once the light will be big will we get 60 fps that is super good and then we want one more thing uh, we need to basically update our landscape material so just come, uh, double click and open and now with this ones we'll be basically go to our this uh, color code and copy this one uh, that what is the basically the value you can use your own value just uh, paste it like this thing and now for the rgb will be basically simply multiply with this one and connect it with this thing so we are will be great now uh, will be given again we'll basically found the basically the same color how our foliage looking so just simply compile and save okay i think it's done so as you can see now it's blending totally good okay so now the grass are not look super bad or even we can make our this resolution more lower so but will be get a uh, better result as you can see it's now basically match this thing that was pretty much enough good so you can basically if you want you can redact that uh, some more if you want depends on yourself but i'm saying that it's quite enough good not so much bad okay now we can basically change the resolution of the texture so it will be we can get a more better result okay so now we'll be go to our basically the textures that which texture is using this ones a double click and open and for this ones um, it's using this so this is let's see that what how much is it as you can see the texture uh the resolution 24 so what will we do uh for i select all the trees okay all the trees and the assets i'm setting them all in only uh 128 that is super low but it will be uh make sure that it will be affect our scene but it will be also give us the performance uh, good more good okay if there's anything we need to upgrade uh make it some more high quality we can give so there's no problem so 
as you can see the tree is not looking so much great from the close but when we go in the play mode and we can see the trees it's uh, not so much bad even everything is good okay then yeah it's pretty much enough good right now at share i'm getting i will get some better resolution and everything and yeah that is now pretty much enough looking great not so much if you want you can change the colors also of this one so it will be uh, you know you can make some lighter fonts if you want and then what you can update more what you think guys so third we can update our basically the landscapes like we can basically make it some more lower that it can be usable uh, like we can basically go to this uh, basically <clears throat> the landscape mode and we can go to a smooth section and make our this thing some bigger and make some smoother so there's a less triangles if there's a less triangles it's been that we get some more better result okay so because there's a less triangles so less triangles means we uh, there's a uh, the shaders will be the triangles will become uh, low and the draw call will become low so everything will be get a better result okay if we if we can if we, if we you know just need to just do some optimization nothing else okay now it's pretty much enough good there's a tons of foliage at here like yeah there's a super foliage and then i think this is now playable for our map basically i hope so uh let's also see the texture resolution of this uh the massive uh this one so as you can see that is a 40 80 that is super but for a mobile game i don't prefer that is should be a 10 a you know that is super so what i do basically i just select them all and action bulk edit go to compress mode set it to 1024 and save them all okay then what i do i will search the same method for all of one so like which one using the same okay so okay now that is a 1024 we already set up that's good uh we maybe need for this ones too so go to action work edit set it to 1024 it will be redact our game size also so we need to keep it mind and then go to saved all so if you have more different types of like rocks or other stuff so you can check them too okay and i'm saying my elephant is great so there's no problem issue for elephant that's good uh we can basically do some here okay like our player can be you know just play around some here so we can make it some smoother okay i think this is now some playable like our player can be go there it's not look like a uh, you know unbelievable it should be a believable that our player can be reach that point basically mm, i'm seeing that it's now pretty enough good guys what you think it's uh, pretty enough good or not so i'm not sure that why this foliage is now selecting automatically so let's giving them saved all seriously guys i don't know so let's give it a try right now we need to just build the lights so as you can see the 30 to 40 fps is coming but it's great uh from 20 we are updated 30 to 40 so when we build the lights and other stuff i think we'll be get some more fps you can basically change the, this once too and also you can do one more thing you can paste a command like that r dot uh streaming st R E A streaming then pole size uh, that is there's a pole size then you can set it to pole size dot 2000 you can give it 2000 to 3000 so i'm giving it 2000 so it will be basically do some optimization okay so everything is now pretty much enough good at here so guys that's all for our game or mobile optimization i hope you understand thank you so much for watching guys love you all and see you in next video so yeah bye bye see you in next video